Hi guys, it's Sonia here from Sonia's Mixed Media. Today I am going to be working on a very loose, abstract interior um, portrait. So this is just a couple of things um, from inside my house, um, in my uh, breakfast area. And um, you can see I'm working here on a little uh, display cabinet that I have and I'm trying to make it quite abstract and I'm working in ink tense pencils because my plan is to add some water to them and sort of make it bit into a watercolor um, so at this stage I'm just you can see I'm just um, planning it out and I did have a little uh, graphite pencil sketch in there roughly um, so <clears throat> like I said this is very loose um, so I have a lot of lines going here and there and everywhere and now I'm adding my water uh, with my aqua brush um, and you can see how beautiful that colour comes out of the ink tense pencils. Um, I believe they're an acrylic pencil, so they almost turn out sort of between a watercolour paint and acrylic. And um, they're very, very pretty. You can see I've used some mixed media on my sketchbook page here. Um, I have a colour in book that I purchased um, that I never coloured and it was all, of all wallpaper designs so I often use that and cut pieces out um, especially in interior portraits and this is acting as my actual wallpaper for the room in the background um, at this stage I don't know if it will stay or if it will go um, here I'm using some watercolour paints I just got and I just bought a little travel mini pack from um, Holbein and as soon as I put them on the page I realised how much better they are than my regular watercolour paints. Um, I'm really impressed with the Holbein um, brand and um, hopefully I'll buy a bigger set of them. Um, I bought them in the tubes and bought the little pan and squished them in because um, I'm about to go on a cruise and want to do some interior drawings of inside the ship so I thought I'd buy a little travel watercolor set um, so here I am adding some blues and greens and my cabinet in real life is actually light blue um, I painted that with chalk paint a couple of years back and I've got a few items in my house that are chalk painted. I went through a phase and started painting all my furniture in chalk paint. And uh, yeah, I still love it. And this is like a little curio cabinet that I have. Um, and now I'm going to orange. And um, this is just a really exaggerated vase that I have. I have a lot of um, 1970s, 80s, I guess, um, glass you know the glass vases that used to come in red and orange and green um, I collect a lot of these vases so this is based on one of those but a lot bigger than my actual one and here I'm just coloring in um, adding some color to it and again I will come in with the aqua brush and you'll see how bright that orange becomes um, so yeah just working on this but I will have to admit that uh, later on um, I actually changed this um, I add some red to it and go a little bit overboard um, in the process I'm not sure if I've got that on video or not but it turned out I think I added some black marker on top to make some pattern and at that stage I really didn't like it so I used one of my old artworks that I had a pot with a plant that I had drawn on some old artwork that I didn't like the whole portrait of so I cut that out and ended up putting it on top which you'll see at the end of the video it's a lot different so here I'm going in and I'm doing 
um, one of this is one of my dining chairs but it's not yellow or brown it's actually again it's a blue color and it's see-through it's like a see-through perspex type um, dining chair very modern from Ikea <laughs> and um, but I decided to do it yellow because I, I didn't want too much blue um, but I'm trying to keep this chair very abstract and I'm you'll see as I progress I'm actually trying to make it look like several chairs and so um, I had a real lot of fun creating this chair and I like the way it, it turns out in the end so I hope you stay tuned for the finished picture. Now I'm just adding a little coffee table here um, and I'm using some watercolour paint for that and just getting that in there quickly. So you can see I've added a little bit of brown to that chair now and it's kind of looking like there's an overlay of a second chair on top and I'm really uh, starting to like the look of it but it's not done yet. <laughs> okay the background I've decided to put a uh, separate wall in here and so I've picked this well I've, I've mixed a really nice olive green and I'm just um, putting that in here over the well the wallpaper in the background <clears throat> and then it looks like I've got my gouache palette out now and what am I doing okay I'm trying to remember what I did here with the voiceover <laughs> first time doing a voiceover guys <laughs> so yeah I've got the gouache in here and I'm starting to feel like I want this uh, this nice, beautiful raspberry type uh, burgundy uh, color in the flooring here. And you'll see in a minute, I add a bit to the chair as well, um, just to tie that color really into the to the scene, and trying to keep the whole thing with an abstract look so i'm pretty new to abstracts but i'm really enjoying doing um, these interior uh, abstract paintings at the moment so i thought i would share this one with you my process so i've just got the heat gun on this at the moment i did have a little bit of trouble um, with my paper uh, it got a little bit too wet at one stage and it started going through to my previous page um, so I had to use the heat gun there. Now at this point I decide uh, that I, I really want a rug on the floor, a nice colourful stripy rug. So um, I think I was using my gouache for this yeah that bright beautiful pink was definitely my gouache. I just use Himmy washes at the moment um, and they seem to be working fine for um, inside my sketchbook so just working on my rug I'm putting in some dark gray here and I've also got some um, green like a really dark olive green on the outside edge there um, I don't pre-plan my colours at all. I just go with the flow and, um, yeah, see what happens. And the great thing about using watercolour and gouache and even acrylics is, and Derwin Ink Tense is you can always go over any mistakes. Um, so nothing's ever permanent, you know. So um, I always think that if something's the wrong colour, I can always go over it with some more gouache or if I want something um, even thicker and more coverage than that, I can use my acrylic paints and I can completely wipe something out um, if I want to. Um, or I could use, like I said, some of my old artwork, cut that up and I could um, stick that over the top somewhere like I do uh, with the vase in the middle. So again, 
Here you can see I'm working on the abstractness of this chair and I'm giving it some layers. And then um, here I've decided to put in a um, picture frame. And in the picture frame, you will see at the end that I cut out some more of my artwork, old artwork, and you can just see it popping up now. Um, this is nearly finished. And now we have it finished, guys. I've gone in with um, markers and Posca pens, and I've added all my pattern work, and you can see my multiple layers. And I hope it gives an abstract feel. Um, I've got oil pastel there in the background. And here you can see my vase there in the middle is completely different colour and shape. And it's got a plant in it now. <laughs> so yeah, that's it guys. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed my video. See you later. Bye.